Gansu, Gansu formerly romanized as Kansu, is a province of the People's Republic of China, located in the northwest of the country. It lies between the Tibetan and Loess plateaus, and borders Mongolia, Inner Mongolia, and Ningxia to the north, Xinjiang and Qinghai to the west, Sichuan to the south, and Shaanxi to the east. The Yellow River passes through the southern part of the province. Gansu has a population of 26 million as of 2009 and covers an area of 453,700 square kilometers, 175,200 square miles. The capital is Lanzhou, located in the southeast part of the province. The state of Qin originated in what is now southeastern Gansu and went on to form the first dynasty of Imperial China. The Northern Silk Road ran through the Hexi Corridor, which passes through Gansu. Topic. Name Gansu is a compound of the names of Ganzhou now a district of Zhangyi and Suzhou, the seat of Jiaquan Prefecture, formerly the two most important Chinese settlements in the area. Gansu is abbreviated as Gan, Gan or Long, Long, and is also known as Longxi, Longxi land west of Long, or Longyu, Longyu land right of Long in reference to the Long Mountain east of Gansu. History Gansu's name is a compound name first used during the Song dynasty of Tu Sui and Tang dynasty prefectures, Zhou Gan around Zhangyi and Su around Jiaquan. Its eastern part forms part of one of the cradles of ancient Chinese civilization. Ancient Gansu In prehistoric times, Gansu was host to Neolithic cultures. The Dadawan culture, from where archaeologically significant artifacts have been excavated, flourished in the eastern end of Gansu from about 6000 BC to about 3000 BC. The Majayao culture and part of the Chija culture took root in Gansu from 3100 BC to 2700 BC and 2400 BC to 1900 BC respectively. The Yuji originally lived in the very western part of Gansu until they were forced to emigrate by the Xiongnu around 177 BCE. The state of Qin, later to become the founding state of the Chinese Empire, grew out from the southeastern part of Gansu, specifically the Tianshui area. The Qin name is believed to have originated, in part, from the area. Qin tombs and artifacts have been excavated from Fangmatan near Tianshui, including one 2,200-year-old map of Guishen County. <laughs> Imperial era In imperial times, Gansu was an important strategic outpost and communications link for the Chinese Empire, as the Hexi Corridor runs along the neck of the province. The Han Dynasty extended the Great Wall across this corridor, building the strategic Yumenguan Jade Gate Pass, near Dunhuang and Yangguan Fort Towns along it. Remains of the wall and the towns can be found there. The Ming Dynasty built the Jiayugan outpost in Gansu. To the west of Yumenguan and the Kilian Mountains, at the northwestern end of the province, the Yuji, Wusun, and other nomadic tribes dwelt Shiji 123, occasionally figuring in regional imperial Chinese geopolitics. By the Qingshui Treaty, concluded in 823 between the Tibetan Empire and the Tang Dynasty, China lost much of western Gansu province for a significant period. After the fall of the Uyghur Khaganate, a Buddhist Uyghur, Uyghur state called the Ganzhou Uyghur Kingdom was established by migrating Uyghurs from the Khaganate in part of Gansu that lasted from 848 to 1036 AD. Along the Silk Road, Gansu was an economically important province, as well as a cultural transmission path. Temples and Buddhist grottoes such as those at Mogao Caves, Caves of the Thousand Buddhas and Maijishan Caves contain artistically and historically revealing murals. An early form of paper inscribed with Chinese characters and dating to about 8 BC was discovered at the site of a western Han garrison near the Yumun Pass in August 2006. The province was also the origin of the Dungan Revolt of 1862 to 77. Among the Qing forces were Muslim generals, including Ma Zhanao and Ma Anlang, who helped the Qing crush the rebel Muslims. The revolt had spread into Gansu from neighboring Qinghai. There was another Dungan revolt from 1895 to 1896. <laughs> Republican China 
As a result of frequent earthquakes, droughts and famines, the economic progress of Gansu was significantly slower than that of other provinces of China until recently. Based on the area's abundant mineral resources it has begun developing into a vital industrial center. An earthquake in Gansu at 8.6 on the Richter scale killed around 180,000 people mostly in the present-day area of Ningxia in 1920, and another with a magnitude of 7.6 killed 275 in 1932. The Muslim conflict in Gansu (1927–1930) was a conflict against the Guomindang. While the Muslim general Ma Hongbin was acting chairman of the province, Muslim general Ma Buqing was in virtual control of Gansu in 1940. Liangzhou district in Wuwei was previously his headquarters in Gansu, where he controlled 15 million Muslims. Xinjiang came under Kuomintang nationalist control after their soldiers entered via Gansu. Gansu's Tianshui was the site of a Japanese Chinese warplane fight. Gansu was vulnerable to Soviet penetration via Xinjiang. Gansu was a passageway for Soviet supplies during the Second Sino Japanese War. Lanzhou was a destination point via a road coming from Diwa Urumqi. Lanzhou and Lhasa were designated to be recipients of a new railway. The Kuomintang Islamic insurgency in China 1950 was a prolongation of the Chinese Civil War in several provinces including Gansu. Geography <inaudible> 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 Gansu has an area of 454,000 square kilometers, 175,000 square miles, and the vast majority of its land is more than 1,000 meters, 3,300 feet above sea level. It lies between the Tibetan Plateau and the Loess Plateau, bordering Mongolia, Gobi Altai Province to the northwest, Inner Mongolia and Ningxia to the north, Shaanxi to the east, Sichuan to the south, and Xinjiang to the west. The Yellow River passes through the southern part of the province. The province contains the geographical center of China, marked by the center of the country monument at 35 degrees 50 minutes 40.9 seconds north 103 degrees 27 minutes 7.5 seconds east part of the Gobi Desert is located in Gansu, as well as small parts of the badain jaran Desert and the Tengger Desert. The Yellow River gets most of its water from Gansu, flowing straight through Lanzhou. The area around Wuwei is part of Xiyang River Basin. The landscape in Gansu is very mountainous in the south and flat in the north. The mountains in the south are part of the Kilian Mountains, while the far western Altan Tag contains the province's highest point, at 5,830 metres. 19,130 feet. A natural land passage known as Hexi Corridor, stretching some 1,000 kilometres 620 miles from Lanzhou to the Jade Gate, is situated within the province. It is bound from north by the Gobi Desert and Kilian Mountains from the south. Gansu generally has a semi-arid to arid continental climate with warm to hot summers and cold to very cold winters, although diurnal temperature ranges are often so large that maxima remain above 0 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit even in winter. However, due to extreme altitude, some areas of Gansu exhibit a subarctic climate DWC with winter temperatures sometimes dropping to minus 40 degrees Celsius minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of the limited precipitation is delivered in the summer months. Winters are so dry that snow cover is confined to very high altitudes and the snow line can be as high as 5,500 meters 18,040 feet in the southwest. Administrative divisions Gansu is divided into 14 prefecture-level divisions, 12 prefecture-level cities and two autonomous prefectures The 14 prefecture-level divisions of Gansu are subdivided into 82 county-level divisions 17 districts, 4 county-level cities, 58 counties, and 3 autonomous counties. Urban areas. Politics Secretaries of the CPC Gansu Committee The Secretary of the CPC Gansu Committee is the highest ranking office within Gansu Province. Zhang De Sheng, Zhang De Sheng 1949-1954 Zhang Zhongliang, Zhang Zhongliang 1954-1961 Wang Feng, Wang Feng 1961-1966 Wang Feng, Wang Feng 
Hu Jizong, Hu Ji Zong 1966-1967 Xi'an Hengen, Xi'an N. Han 1970-1977 Song Ping, Song Ping 1977-1981 Feng Jixin, Feng Jixin 1981-1983 Li Ziki, Li Zi Qi 1983-1990 Gu Jinchi, Gu Jin Kai 1990-1993 Yan Hai Wang, Yan Hai Wang 1993-1998 Sun Ying, Sun Ying 1998-2001 Song Jiao Shu, Song Jiao Su 2001-2003 Su Rong, Su Rong 2003-2007 Lu Hao, Lu Hao April 2007 minus December 2011 Wang Sanyun, Wang Sanyun December 2011 minus March 2017 Lin Duo, Lin Duo March 2017 minus Incumbent Governors of Gansu, the Governorship of Gansu is the second highest ranking official within Gansu, behind the Secretary of the CPC Gansu Committee. The governor is responsible for all issues related to economics, personnel, political initiatives, the environment and the foreign affairs of the province. The governor is appointed by the Gansu Provincial People's Congress, which is the province's legislative body. Wang Shitei, Wang Shi Tai 1949-1950 Deng Baoshan, Deng Baoshan 1950-1967 Xi'an Hengen, Xi'an N. Han 1967-1977 Song Ping, Song Ping 1977-1979 Feng Jixin, Feng Jixin 1979-1981 Li Dengying, Li Dengying 1981-1983 Chen Guangyi, Shane Guangyi 1983-1986 Jia Jia Ji, Jia Ji Ga 1986-1993 Yan Haiwang, Yan Haiwang 1993 Zhang Wu, Zhang Wu La 1993-1996 Sun Ying, Sun Ying 1996-1998 Song Jiao Shu, Song Jiao Su 1998-2001 Lu Hao, Lu Hao 2001-2006 Xu Shoucheng, Xu Shoucheng, January 2007 minus July 2010. Liu Weiping, Liu Weiping, July 2010 minus April 2016. Lin Duo, Lin Duo, April 2016 minus April 2017. Tang Renjian, Tang Renjian, April 2017 minus incumbent. Topic: Economy. Agricultural production includes cotton, linseed oil, maize, melons such as the honeydew melon, known locally as the Bailon melon or Wallace, due to its introduction by U.S. Vice President Henry A. Wallace, millet, and wheat. Gansu is known as a source for wild medicinal herbs which are used in Chinese medicine. However, pollution by heavy metals, such as cadmium in irrigation water, has resulted in the poisoning of many acres of agricultural land. The extent and nature of the heavy metal pollution is considered a state secret, however, most of Gansu's economy is based on mining and the extraction of minerals, especially rare earth elements. The province has significant deposits of antimony, chromium, coal, cobalt, copper, fluorite, gypsum, iridium, iron, lead, limestone, mercury, mirabilite, nickel, crude oil, platinum, troilite, tungsten, and zinc among others. The oil fields at Yumun and Chongqing are considered significant. Gansu has China's largest nickel deposits accounting for over 90% of China's total nickel reserves. Industries other than mining include electricity generation, petrochemicals, oil exploration machinery, and building materials. According to some sources, the province is also a center of China's nuclear industry. Despite recent growth in Gansu and the booming economy in the rest of China, Gansu is still considered to be one of the poorest provinces in China. Its nominal GDP for 2011 was about 502 billion yuan, 79.69 billion United States dollars, and per capita of 12,836 RMB, 1,879 United States dollars. Tourism has been a bright spot in contributing to Gansu's overall economy. 
As mentioned below, Gansu offers a wide variety of choices for national and international tourists. As stipulated in the country's 12th five-year plan, the local government of Gansu hopes to grow the province's GDP by 10% annually by focusing investments on five pillar industries, renewable energy, coal, chemicals, non-ferrous metals, pharmaceuticals and services. Topic economic and technological development zones The following economic and technological zones are situated in Gansu. Lanzhou National Economic and Technological Development Zone was established in 1993, located in the center of Lanzhou Anning District. The zone has a planned area of 9.53 square kilometers, 3.68 square miles, 17 colleges, 11 scientific research institutions, 21 large and medium-sized companies and other 1735 enterprises have been set up in the zone. Main industries include textile mills, rubber, fertilizer plants, oil refinery, petrochemical, machinery and metallurgical industry. Lanzhou New and High Tech Industrial Development Zone, Lanzhou High Tech Industrial Development Zone, one of the first 27 national high tech industrial development zones, was established in 1998 covering more than 10 square kilometers 3.9 square miles. It is expected to expand another 19 square kilometers 7.3 square miles. The zone mainly focuses on biotechnology, chemical industry, building decoration materials and information technology. Topic Demographics Gansu Province is home to 30,711,287 people. Most of the population, 73%, is rural. Gansu is 92% Han and also has Wei, Tibetan, Dongshang, Tu, Uyghur, Bonin, Mongolian, Salar, and Kazakh minorities. Gansu Province's community of Chinese Wei Muslims was bolstered by Wei Muslims resettled from Shaanxi Province during the Dungan Revolt. Gansu is also a historical home, along with Shaanxi, of the dialect of the Dungans, who migrated to Central Asia. The southwestern corner of Gansu is home to a large ethnic Tibetan population. Topic languages Most of the inhabitants of Gansu speak dialects of northern Mandarin Chinese. On the border areas of Gansu one might encounter two, Amdu Tibetan, Mongolian, and the Kazakh language. Most of the minorities also speak Chinese. Topic culture The cuisine of Gansu is based on the staple crops grown there, wheat, barley, millet, beans, and sweet potatoes. Within China, Gansu is known for its lamian pulled noodles, and Muslim restaurants which feature authentic Gansu cuisine. Topic religion According to a 2012 survey only around 12% of the population of Gansu belongs to organized religions, the largest groups being Buddhists with 8.2%, followed by Muslims with 3.4%, Protestants with 0.4% and Catholic with 0.1% in total, as of 2012 Christians comprise 0.5% of the population, decreasing from 1%. 0.2% in 2004 around 88% of the population may be either irreligious or involved in worship of nature deities, Buddhism, Confucianism, Taoism, folk religious sects. Muslim restaurants are known as Qingjun restaurants, Pure Truth restaurants, and feature typical Chinese dishes, but without any pork products, and instead an emphasis on lamb and mutton. Gansu has many works of Buddhist art, including the Maijishan Grottoes. Dunhuang was a major center of Buddhism in the Middle Ages. Tourism Jiayugan Pass of the Great Wall Jiayugan Pass, in Jiayugan City, is the largest and most intact pass, or entrance, of the Great Wall. Jiayugan Pass was built in the early Ming Dynasty, somewhere around the year 1372. It was built near an oasis that was then on the extreme western edge of China. Jiayugan Pass was the first pass on the west end of the Great Wall so it earned the name the first and greatest pass under heaven. An extra brick is said to rest on a ledge over one of the gates. One legend holds that the official in charge asked the designer to calculate how many bricks would be used. The designer gave him the number and when the project was finished, only one brick was left. It was put on the top of the pass as a symbol of commemoration. Another account holds that the building project was assigned to a military manager and an architect. The architect presented the manager with a requisition for the total number of bricks that he would need. 
When the manager found out that the architect had not asked for any extra bricks, he demanded that the architect make some provision for unforeseen circumstances. The architect, taking this as an insult to his planning ability, added a single extra brick to the request. When the gate was finished, the single extra brick was, in fact, extra and was left on the ledge over the gate. <laughs> Mogao Grottoes The Mogao Grottoes near Dunhuang have a collection of Buddhist art. Originally there were a thousand grottoes, but now only 492 cave temples remain. Each temple has a large statue of a Buddha or Bodhisattva and paintings of religious scenes. In 336 AD, a monk named Le Zun came near echoing Sand Mountain, when he had a vision. He started to carve the first grotto. During the Five Dynasties period they ran out of room on the cliff and could not build any more grottoes. <laughs> Silk Road and Dunhuang City The historic Silk Road starts in Chang'an and goes to Constantinople. On the way merchants would go to Dunhuang in Gansu. In Dunhuang they would get fresh camels, food and guards for the journey around the dangerous Taklamakan Desert. Before departing Dunhuang they would pray to the Mogao Grottoes for a safe journey, if they came back alive they would thank the gods at the grottoes. Across the desert they would form a train of camels to protect themselves from thieving bandits. The next stop, Kashi Kashgar, was a welcome site to the merchants. At Kashi most would trade and go back and the ones who stayed would eat fruit and trade their Bactrian camels for single humped ones. After Kashi they would keep going until they reached their next destination. Located about 5 kilometers miles southwest of the city, the Crescent Lake or Uyachuan is an oasis and popular spot for tourists seeking respite from the heat of the desert. Activities includes camel and 4x4 four four rides. Topic. Silk Route Museum The Silk Route Museum is located in Jiaquan along the Silk Road, a trading route connecting Rome to China, used by Marco Polo. It is also built over the tomb of the Western Liang King. Topic. Bingling Temple Bingling Temple, or Bingling Grottoes, is a Buddhist cave complex in a canyon along the Yellow River. Begun in 420 AD during the Western Jin Dynasty, the site contains dozens of caves and caverns filled with outstanding examples of carvings, sculpture, and frescoes. The Great Maitreya Buddha is more than 27 meters tall and is similar in style to the Great Buddhas that once lined the cliffs of Bamiyan, Afghanistan. Access to the site is by boat from Yangjing in the summer or fall. There is no other access point. Topic. Labring Monastery Labring Tashikiel Monastery is located in Shahe County, Ganon Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, located in the southern part of Gansu, and part of the traditional Tibetan province of Amdu. It is one of the six major monasteries of the Gelakpa tradition of Tibetan Buddhism in Tibet, and the most important one in Amdu. Built in 1710, it is headed by the Jamyang Zepa. It has six dratsing colleges, and houses over 60,000 religious texts and other works of literature as well as other cultural artifacts. Education Colleges and universities Lanzhou University Lanzhou Lan Zhou Da Shui Northwest Normal University Lanzhou Shi Bei Shi Fan Da Shui Lanzhou University of Technology Lanzhou Lan Zhou Li Gong Da Shui Lanzhou Jiao Tong University Lanzhou Lan Zhou Jiao Tong Da Shui Northwest University of Nationalities Lanzhou Shi Bei Min Zhu Da Shui Gansu Agricultural University Lanzhou Gan Su Nong Yi Da Shui Lanzhou City University Lanzhou Lan Zhou Sheung Shi Shui Yuan Gansu Political Science and Law Institute Lanzhou Gan Su Zheng Fa Shui Yuan Gansu University of Technology Lanzhou Commercial College Lanzhou Polytechnic College Northwest Minority University Tianshui Normal College Tianshui Longdong College Qingyang 
Topic: Natural resources. Topic: Land. 166,400 square kilometers, 64,200 square miles grassland. 46,700 square kilometers, 18,000 square miles mountain slopes suitable for livestock breeding. 46,200 square kilometers, 17,800 square miles forests, standing timber reserves of 0.2 cubic kilometers, 0.048 cu mi. 35,300 square kilometers, 13,600 square miles cultivated land, 1,400 square meters, 15,000 square feet per capita. 66,600 square kilometers, 25,700 square miles wasteland suitable for forestation. 10,000 square kilometers, 3,900 square miles wasteland suitable for farming. Topic Minerals 3,000 deposits of 145 different minerals. 94 minerals have been found and ascertained, including nickel, cobalt, platinum, selenium, casting clay, finishing serpentine, and five other minerals whose reserves are the largest in China. Gansu has advantages in getting nickel, zinc, cobalt, platinum, iridium, copper, barite, and bodicerite. Energy Among Gansu's most important sources of energy are its water resources, the Yellow River and other inland river drainage basins. Gansu is placed ninth among China's provinces in annual hydropower potential and water discharge. Gansu produces 17.24 gigawatts of hydropower a year. 29 hydropower stations have been constructed in Gansu, altogether, capable of generating 30 gigawatts. Gansu has an estimated coal reserve of 8.92 billion tons and petroleum reserve of 700 million tons. There is also good potential for wind and solar power development. The Gansu Wind Farm project, already producing 7.965 gigawatts in 2015 is expected to achieve 20 gigawatts by 2020, at which time it will likely become the world's biggest collective wind farm. In November 2017 an agreement between the Chinese Academy of Sciences and Gansu government was announced, to site and begin operations of a molten salt reactor pilot project in the province by 2020. <laughs> Flora and fauna Gansu has 659 species of wild animals. It has 24 rare animals which are under a state protection. Gansu's mammals include some of the world's most charismatic, the giant panda, golden monkeys, lynx, snow leopards, sika deer, musk deer, and the Bactrian camel. Among zoologists who study moles, the Gansu mole is of great interest. For a reason that can only be speculated, it is taxologically a new world mole living among old word moles, that is to say an American mole living in a sea of Euro-Asians. Gansu is home to 441 species of birds, it is a center of endemism and home to many species and subspecies which occur nowhere else in the world. Gansu is China's second largest producer of medicinal plants and herbs, including some produced nowhere else, such as the hairy aciabel root, fertility bulb, and Chinese caterpillar fungus. Environment Natural disasters On 16 December 1920, Gansu witnessed the deadliest landslide ever recorded. A series of landslides, triggered by a single earthquake, accounted for most of the 180,000 people killed in the event. Anti-desertification project The Asian Development Bank is working with the State Forestry Administration of China on the Silk Road Ecosystem Restoration Project, designed to prevent degradation and desertification in Gansu. It is estimated to cost up to $150 million. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Space Launch Center. The Jiaquan Satellite Launch Center, located in the Gobi Desert, is named after the city of Jiaquan, Gansu, the nearest city, although the center itself is in the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region. 
Topic. See also. Wangyangchuan List of prisons in Gansu Major national historical and cultural sites in Gansu Silk Road transmission of Buddhism References External links Gansu Government Website Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed. 1911